Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. And I got this lair, I think, done. Arc is free on this evening. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I said we're Arc is free. Oh, we're Arc is free. I thought you said Arc was free on this evening. I'm oh. like, Wait, we just talked about it. <laughs> no. No, no, no. And, and the fact that he was not free. Uh, so this you... is, yeah, going down, we're going to have pretty intense amount of mobs going on here i think so i mean because we're the layers are lit right now honestly yeah and uh, uh. i mean they're not lit well of course but there's a lot of mobs already <laughs> they are so drunk and on drugs <laughs> oh, me. i don't know that is a term do you like the term lit no i think that's a silly term I agree with you, and I don't know where, like, and I used to always think lit to me meant when the people used to use it when I was in, like, college, it meant you were on some type of drug. Yeah. And it turned into basically a general term for drugs, alcohol, etc. and I never used it to talk about alcohol, so when people talk about, oh, man, he was so lit, I'm like, oh, shit, I didn't even know he did drugs. No, he was drunk. Like, wait, what? Like, <laughs> I'm confused at that. I will tell you one term that I, I guess I still don't understand, and this just like this is one of those things that shows I'm getting too old. I'm getting too old, man. I hate it. Um, but woke. I think that's the one of the terms I, I hate really bad. Like I think I, I told you about there was this girl I was talking to, and she started. She was she used that in a sentence and lit, and I was like, yeah, I'll never speak to this person again. I'll tell you, I don't even know what it means. Like, what does it mean to be? I I don't know. I mean, I do it in the mornings. Yeah, exactly. Like I. I'm trying to th remember where I stumbled across reading about it. And it was actually funny because it was reading about somebody complaining about how they hate the word and that <laughs> it makes no sense for people to use it. And I was like, the creeper just flew down. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, he sure did. He died. <laughs> he died real good. He just landed right beside me and died. Oh, um, crap. And I was like, I didn't even know that that was a term. And I swear to God, like the next day I'm watching some like random video and people are talking about the word woke. Mm -hmm. And I was like, uh, you've been woke really? to the word woke. So I, I honestly, I'll tell you, I don't know what it really means. Like what context is that word used in? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. Hold on a second. We'll, we'll look it up. We're gonna, we're gonna get real woke. This, this, I think I think guy. it's I think that's it. I think it's knowledgeable, right? I think that's the, the well, and that's the context that I heard it in. But, uh, like, wh where did it come from? I mean, how do I know all these things happen? Really? Cowabunga, dude. How does, <laughs> how does anybody really know what time it is? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who decided does... that? <laughs> um, okay, this is another layer done. This is actually coming along pretty quickly on the way down, just not on the way up. What do you mean? Oh, like building up? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, like digging it out ain't hard. Somebody did suggest that I replace these uh, dead zones with packed ice, and that'll make the mobs just slide like right across oh. them into the next water channel. Okay. So that is something I'm definitely probably going to do. Definitely going probably. to do at some point. I was looking up. <laughs> looking up some woke. Yeah. Get woke, son. That was another there, creeper. There's a lot of mobs. <laughs> like we've had some zombies and some skeletons come too. That creeper literally I was jumping across the pit at the time to get uh, some water buckets placed and I like we collided in midair. <laughs> Luckily there didn't seem to be any hitbox detection because I would have died. Hi. <laughs> See, the first few times I thought that was you coming down. <clears throat> Woke, a state of perceived intellectual su superiority. One gains by reading the Huffington Post. <laughs> this is on Urban Dictionary, by the way. By reading the Huffington Post? <laughs> yeah. You get woke by reading Huffington Post? Uh, it specifically has to do with Huffington Post. 
woke, although the an, an incorrect tense of awake, a reference to how people should be aware in current events. While you are obsessing with the Kardashians, there are millions of homeless people in the world. Stay woke. Okay. Uh, I guess I don't get it. Wait, how does this not line up to where I'm supposed to be going here? This is the center hole, right? Obviously? Uh, yeah. Wait, maybe it's this one. I just dug one hole off. Because if I just keep going back this... This way, I should get to the shaft, right? Uh, it's in the corner, isn't it? Oh, no, now you're making me wonder. I don't remember if it's in the corner or not. Yeah, it's in the corner. Thought... It's totally in the corner. It's not, it's not right off center? No, it's in the corner. Damn you! Why didn't he die? I'm gonna die! Oh, I'm gonna die! I don't have a... I don't have a shield. Oh, good lord. Half a heart. <laughs> uh, oh, goody. That's coming goody, to help. Goody. Real slow, though. <laughs> You're like, die, you say. I will save you once I get woke on some knowledge. <laughs> uh, no, it's, all, it's three, one, two, three blocks in from center. Or three blocks out from center, I guess it would be. So, right. I, I was digging the wrong way again, so it's somewhere <laughs> like right here. There we go. Found it. this you ever had beef wellington uh i have did you enjoy it yeah How'd you get i it? mean i like it i like anything beef um i think i had beef wellington at a wedding uh probably wasn't that great then was it uh i mean it was it was good i've never had i've never gone to a restaurant and ordered beef wellington i see it on uh iron or not iron chef uh, hell's kitchen all the time though. right yeah that, that's the only place i've had it was in vegas at gordon i, thought you were, in, I was gonna tell you were gonna say in hell's kitchen i'm like you had a hell's kitchen <laughs> yeah you know that's how i was hanging out in hell's kitchen um, i mean you gotta be able to get tickets to it right? yeah yeah you can you totally can um i looked into that one time i can't remember how much it costs though it's expensive obviously um, they make it seem like everybody goes there for free well there's a buffet too that you can go to is it all the stuff that, that didn't make it to uh Well, like, no, like, if whenever you go to Hell's Kitchen, like, you, you're you guaranteed food. So, like, the people that walk out, they're walking out to go to the buffet. Oh, interesting. I know I have a, a Chase Sapphire card. And for some odd reason, I guess Chase Sapphire is hooked up with a lot of, like, the, the chef community. And they constantly, like, send me things about... You know, as a Chase Sapphire member, you get this, uh, you know, one in a lifetime or a once in a lifetime experience to go, you know, eat with this blah, blah, blah chef. Yeah. I'm always I, like, I also I'm always like oh, damn, that's awesome. And then they're like, it's only you can reserve your seat for only two hundred and fifty dollars. Right. Like, wait, wait, you were making it sound like I got a gift from you as by being a Chase Sapphire holder, not a you were going to let me pay for something. That I'm sure you would let somebody purchase if they did not hold the card. Um, <clears throat> I ask because I'm going to attempt to make beef Wellington tomorrow. Okay, and do you have a a, a recipe? Um, from? Yes. Uh, so I Is want it beef and Wellington. Well, I mean the the. This this is a very long dark tunnel you have created. <laughs> yep, it was the wrong tunnel. Um, <laughs> so it is beef Wellington is as you know, fillet. Um, so I got fillet on sale. I had like a whole fillet, and um, and I like broke that down, got all the fat off of it, and whatever, and cut it into large steaks. Um, and then so it's puff pastry on the outside, then um, prosciutto. Then is this prosciutto and yes, I I that my beef Wellington that I had at this wedding definitely did not have. It was not memorable enough to even remember exactly what it was like. Um, it was beef in a some type of puff pastry though. Well, it's supposed okay. to have these things. Well, they you know, like I said, you were at a wedding, so <laughs> you never know wedding food, right? Um, but yeah, uh, it's a very hit and miss for sure. So uh, puff pastry prosciutto then um i don't know the pronunciation of this word it's like d-u-x 
L L O S something like that. It's basically a um, um so, something like that. It's like a mushroom. It's a it's it's a common French uh, sauce thing. Uh, it's like mushrooms with butter and then shallots and uh, sherry or something like that. Uh, white wine, some you know some kind of something like that to uh, at the very end. Um, so you make that paste. So then that's next, and then some kind of pate or. Something like that. So for that, I'm using uh, foie gras. Well, uh, wait, <laughs> what? So beef Wellington is beef prosciutto pate. Yes, and mushroom stuff. I mean, mushroom stuff. Like I, I get that. I just I don't get the ridiculous amounts of different different meats. Yeah, yeah, it's all these things. Um, and then, so that's it. And then, then of course the, 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 the beef, the filet. Um, so I'm going to try to sous vide my beef. So technically, technically you should be able to just wrap all that stuff up and the time it takes to cook the puff pastry should result in cooked beef, but you've seen should be approximately 12 hours. <laughs> and now it's like 40 minutes basically. And everything should cook. The beef should cook and everything. Um, but so I've read a bunch of different people's attempts at the sous vide, and it sounds like it simplifies the whole thing. To make sure you don't undercook or overcook your beef. Um, I mean, that's that's the whole point of sous vide. Have you ever sous vide before? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I sous vide all the time. Okay. Um, but so, so, but see, the worry is that you overcook the beef because you're technic technically you should be able to put raw beef in there, and it be cooked right. Um, but uh, I read this one guy that basically what he did was he cooked it the night before sous vide and then chilled it and took it straight from the refrigerator and and then cooked it that way and then it ended up at the right temperature. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Um, and I hope it, it turns skeletons out. skeletons on your lair. Uh, I'm, I, I left to go empty my inventory. Oh, I need to Whew. fix my pick. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try that tomorrow. Well, tonight I'm I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and sous vide the beef and chill it, and then tomorrow I'm going to do all those things. It was quite expensive to get all the ingredients though. Like I had to I had to mail well, order. Like, did you did you hear yourself list the ingredients involved? <laughs> as well as the I didn't have this, so I just used foie gras instead. Well, I mean it is it is a stuff it. I'm gonna stuff it with hundred dollar bills. And, uh... <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, it is a, it is a duck pate, um, so that, that is, that is a pate still, technically. Uh, I, I, oh, well, pate doesn't necessarily mean liver. I never hmm. understood how liver is something that people want so expensive. I loved chicken livers. Like, mm, I could eat chicken livers all day. That's one of those things you can't have when you have gout. And it makes me so sad. You can't have, like, any any awful, like, brain, liver, kidney. <laughs> yeah, I don't want anything that's awful either. <laughs> well, that's just what it's called. No, I, know, I, know, I know. It's the organ meats. <laughs> yeah. I always find it funny in, like, cooking shows when they're like, oh, it's, I'm cooking awful. And I'm like, don't be too hard on yourself. Man. It's, <laughs> probably, it's probably okay. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I had to mail order the uh, the pate because nowhere around here sells it. <laughs> Where did you mail order the pate from? Um, the website's like D U A. <laughs> the website is pate delivery uh, I can't remember the name of the website. It's like a French name. Um, so I I ordered uh. I ordered a couple of things because the shipping was like twenty bucks. So I went ahead and like I got some quail eggs, uh, the pate, um, uh, duck breast. Uh, what else did I get? Um, how long does it take to come? Overnight. Yeah. How much is the shipping on that? It was twenty dollars. That's why I went ahead. And oh, ordered. oh, the overnight shipping was twenty bucks. Yeah. Can you get a standard shipping for cheaper? No. I heard a creeper. Explode. Yeah, you did. Where did he explode at? Right where I'm at. I mean, did he destroy some? No, because he was in the water. Um, well, high water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I was trying to break that block. I was like, why is this block here? But it was there because that was that, that water that I hated and I tried to fix. Um, but yeah, so I got some quail eggs, the duck breast, the, the foie gras. And, oh, yeah, duck fat, too. So I packed my... Uh, 
pack my my tenderloins with uh, duck fat for the sous vide. So yeah. The only thing I'm really sad about is no one else gets to taste it. Like I'm <laughs> I'm making this really nice meal and like just for me. Well, what what made you decide to do this then? Uh, well, so I bought some. I was at the grocery store. This this started like a month ago. I was at the grocery store and I was walking around just looking at stuff, and I was like, "Hmm, puff pastry. I should make something with puff pastry." So I bought some puff pastry because I there there'd been a time I don't remember when. I think I may have been drunk when I was like, "Man, I need some puff pastry right now." I don't know what the fuck I was gonna make with it, but I just decided I, I just need me some puff pastry. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Man, if I had puff pastry, I could make this." I don't know what the fuck it was. I could so make me some beef Wellington. It definitely wasn't that. Um, but uh, so I got home with the with the puff pastry, and then like a few nights later, I'm like looking at it in the freezer, and I'm like. What did I buy this puff pastry for? And so I Google, what the hell should I make with puff pastry? And the top result was beef wellington. I was like, huh, I've never made beef wellington. I should make beef wellington. And so this that's how this all started. Is uh, I bought some puff pastry on a whim. And then I was like, I need to do something with this puff pastry. I mean, I would... I think it's cool to make like beef wellington and all expand your like culinary skills something you haven't done before it'll probably be pretty delicious but i would probably also wait till i had a reason well i wouldn't just be like hmm puff pastry let's wellington it up <laughs> well so okay i i guess i guess it, it, it the story does expand a little bit so i bought the puff pastry i decided i should make beef wellington and then for christmas kroger had um, like normally, like if you buy a whole fillet, it's like seventeen or eighteen dollars a pound, and they had it for ten dollars a pound, and I was like, oh fuck, okay, that's like basically like seventy dollars off on this uh, on this this thing here. So that was all. That was the second reason. Is I was I, I bought a whole fillet, and I'm like, well now I got a whole fillet. I gotta gotta cook it, and uh, <laughs> I've been wanting to make beef wellington with my puff pastry. So so how how long is it going to last, and how much are you going to make? Like so, I guess the question is. You obviously don't want it to go bad, no matter who you're making it for, or you know, making it just for yourself. You don't want it to go bad. The Wellington? Are you going to make a? Are you going to make a serving? Are you going to make? I'm just going to make one Wellington. Fridge, one Wellington. Yes. And I, did you buy like a piece of fagua? I don't even know how fagua comes. I don't even know. Like. Uh, so I mean, they they it's you can buy like the whole liver or whatever. Uh, this thing I bought was like a little like glass. Um, container of it uh a glass container of fagua and yeah it comes in like a little terrine terrine is that the right word i feel like that's the right word maybe not um yeah so it's like a little little serving dish of, of fagua basically um so it's probably enough it probably would have been enough to make probably three wellingtons i would guess um so yeah I mean, it sounds delicious. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm basically, jealous. Like, I'm thinking whatever I have left of the foie gras, I'll just eat on some, some toast. <laughs> Is that a thing? Oh, yeah. Totally. It's like, spreadable. I don't know. Whenever people talk about foie gras, so I've had foie gras once, and I remember being very upset. Like, it was one of my first, uh, when I came to D.C., I was very sticker shock at price and stuff. Oh, time. yeah. Uh, and I was in nursing school, so my... I didn't realize how expensive it was to live for one. I was paying for nursing school and my parents were helping me. So it wasn't just me. I can't say that, you know, I was paying for nursing school, and, you know, broke otherwise, but I completely like cashed out of my savings pretty much within two months of being here because I didn't realize how expensive it was, <laughs> how expensive it really was going. Oh God. Wow. You really pushed him right into me. Real good. <laughs> glad to, you gave, gave, gave him gave him real good push. <laughs> What, what is making them not die? Like some oh, of them do die, yeah, but that one right. definitely didn't. That one. Oh, you know what? I bet it's that they're getting hung up on some of the. Depends on where they come from, I guess. Yeah. Um. Uh, so we at the very end of the first semester, you know, I'm broke. I've already borrowed some money from my parents to make sure uh, to make sure that I can, you know, survive and uh, you know get through the semester. So many people in D.C. and the D.C. area are like foodies. And I was from an area that Michigan, when I moved here in Flint area, people weren't really true foodies. They weren't people who were like, you know, I don't think anybody knew what a, I'd never heard of a sous vide machine when I moved here. Um, right. 
so you know that was whether it's the crowd that i hang out with wasn't food centric whether it's just the people in the area i I don't know i just i it was the first introduction i'd had to people who were like really obsessed with food and this one girl that went to school uh with us she had god damn it she had come from or she lived in dc already she was a (laughs) ow I didn't know that that hole went all the way to the ground. Yeah, it goes all the way to bedrock. So I didn't uh, <laughs> think twice about jumping aimlessly toward a little platform <laughs> over top of that. But she worked at this restaurant out here. And so right after we finished finals, the day before I flew back home for like a Christmas break, all excited, finished finals for the first semester. Everybody wanted to go out to this girl's restaurant because she worked that uh, night and was going to like hook us up. And not only did she not hook us up in the least, it was every time she was like, guys, I'm going to get you hooked up with this and get you my discount. And she'd come back over to the table and be like, oh, my manager said I can't do that. Sorry, guys. And <laughs> you know, it was like, oh, okay. what, what, the, what the hell happened, man? Did you cover up my stuff? Well, oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I go. came in without a pick. <laughs> uh, can you make a different hole to the side a little bit so I don't fall all the way to the bottom? Mm-hmm. There you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. Much better. <laughs> and so not only did we end up racking up this huge bill, but one of the things that people were determined to order Fagua because, oh, my God, Jeff, it's so good. You're going to love this stuff. I didn't realize that these were all like one gaps. Yeah, so I dug it down like I a dumbass. I thought I was going to be able to sit, sit to the side a little bit, and I'm like, wait, I don't fit here. Like, I was thinking I was mapping out all the levels, and I did it wrong. I counted wrong. I'm real dumb. I should probably make a shield again. I don't know what happened to my shield, but... Um, so, yeah, we ended up getting this fog wall, and I think the bill for each of us at the end of this, and there was like 10 or 15 of us there, and we were all drinking, you know, you know, wine and beers and, you know, all that stuff as well. And the bill was probably like a hundred and fifty dollars a piece. Oh my god! And I was broke. I was like upset that we had spent that much money. But it was one of those things that you couldn't really argue with because, for one, we thought we were getting a big discount. And I, one of the only reasons I went was because I thought we were getting a discount because I knew I couldn't afford that much money right then and we get there when she's like oh guys i can't hook up with the discount and everything she gave us a couple appetizers that were free uh that turned out oh you know and i, I you know my boss said i have to charge you guys for that stuff as well like it was completely terrible all around and what <laughs> we thought we were going there for and what we got but i mean that happens in the restaurant industry you can't necessarily expect free food but she never let us know that it was a problem she basically let us know that we could come in and do this that's like a perk that she has and it turns out to be something she was just trying to pull off and it didn't work uh, and i mean i'm sure she was real embarrassed by this too of course well yeah. but and everybody else around was like oh no no no, no big deal like i don't mind paying for stuff at all like and somebody just grabbed the bill and was like so everybody it's gonna be uh you know 148 dollars per person like including tip and i was just like what the fuck just happened <laughs> <laughs> you know type of deal but now that I'm over the sticker shock of DC, I will tell you that for what we had, that was probably a decent price. And mm. it was just, I, but I was not impressed with the Fagua at all. I did not think it was good. How was it pre- prepared? A little like, uh, it looks to me like gnocchi. Huh, okay. That was, yeah, it was like, it was finger Fagua. I see. It wasn't pate style. So, um, in France, um, I ate a lot of it and I got to actually, to, when I, when I left France, I, I longed for like a salad. Like I just wanted something that wasn't so rich and like, I don't know, like people talk shit about American food all the time, but I felt like France, that was the fattiest eating I've ever done. Like I just, I would have loved like just a head of lettuce just to eat it like an apple. <laughs> That and water, goddamn man! You land on you, you, you get back to America. I mean, like we, we, we went from France to London, and when we, whenever the, our train arrived in London, there was these pallets of water everywhere. And like me and Paul's have been talking about the whole time, like how you just cannot get a cup of water anywhere, and then like they act like you're crazy when you try to get water. And if you want ice, and you're a total fucking psychopath, um, 
But whenever we got to London, there was this pallet of water sitting at the train station. We we're like, they fucking know. They know you're coming from France. They got this pallet waiting. <laughs> Yeah, I was, that is one thing I did not understand nor like about Europe was the inability to find just water. Yeah, it is very weird. Uh, I guess it's just the way that the way that they do it or something. Yeah. Um, I guess if you're finishing up these layers, what I can do is dig the center down and start making the mob killing machine. Yeah, I didn't go. Yeah, yeah. We probably should do that anyway so that we know kind of like how it all should be how many layers oh, we God. need and whatnot what was that why'd you do that huh oh, there's water <laughs> why'd, you, I there's, was saying, why'd you do that there's water above us here so having to uh fix it basically so there's gonna be a hole going all the way down i guess maybe you should, i should put which layer are you on uh i'm gonna well, i'll lock in this layer right below me so that if you do fall down it it's not Oops. There. That you don't just go down and die. <laughs> that would be terrible. I know. Like, what idiot would do something like that? Um, but yeah, so like a lot of this, a lot of the fog I had in France was like the liver, the, just like the whole liver and then like, like a whole, like a slice of the liver fried up. Kind of like, I don't know, like if you sliced spam, I guess would be the best way to describe it. Um, and and then just you know seared in a pan and uh, I really enjoyed it but I definitely got my fill of it before I left and did not want any more and I haven't had you any were, you since. You were done with the. Yeah, so I don't want to see another piece of duck liver until I die, but I'm back. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm. I need it. I can't believe how hard it is to find certain food ingredients here. Like I cannot get quail eggs anywhere. And it makes me sad because I would always keep quail eggs in the refrigerator if I had a source of quail eggs. I've considered, like a lot of people right here raise chickens. I've considered get, getting get quail. getting quails. Yeah, I'm really thinking about it. I don't see why that would be a very hard thing to do or a bad thing to do. I mean, I always had chickens when I was growing up, so. Yeah. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. Because, I mean... That said, like I, I feel like I could sell the quail eggs for a lot of money too, the ones I can't eat. Cause there's gotta be someone else that's like me that likes quail eggs. Yeah, I just the question is, are they in your area? Right. Like I, I, I was thinking about I could probably go to the farmers market, um, and s see if I could find people there that were interested. Cause the, the state farmers market's real near here. I just strangely found this crazy lava pool. Crazy lava. That, well, but it, the the sad thing is that where it's at, it must be. Oh my phone! I don't know if it's important. I have to go see. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a phone. Is that like a house phone? He's gone, guys. I, I think you'll hear a rotary dial here in a minute. And there's things happening. Yeah, so what I was going to say, like, it does... Okay, this is like a cave that we need to get cleared out. Um, I don't know how we didn't run into this. Where I'm digging, though, because... Right about here? It's got to be... Did I count this completely wrong? Sorry I might that. have counted. I, what? So sorry about that. I don't know if you heard me uh, say my phone was ringing. I had to like run away. I did, yeah, but I was like, I didn't know you were serious about <laughs> your your phone ringing. So, well, like, so I don't know. My grandma's gonna die one of these days. <laughs> but that was like your phone phone. That like not a. It was phone or it was a house phone. Yeah, yeah, my home phone. Yeah, I, that's what I was just very confused. I was like, uh... Like, a lot of times whenever, if, if someone's calling this late at night, it's normally because someone someone can't get in touch with my grandma and they've assumed she's fallen again. Or my grandma has fallen and she's calling to get for me to come and help her get off the ground. It was, was it either of those? Do you have to... Uh, no, it was my it was my grandma. <laughs> so I did have to answer it, but uh, um, she was just calling about Christmas. So. Uh, um, when you were digging... Be careful digging down to the next layer because there's literally an opening into a ravine that we'll have to go clear out. 
but there's just a huge lava pool. That's what I was saying, is I don't understand how we haven't come across this lava pool yet, but you're probably just a layer above it. Oh. Or a couple layers above it still. So okay. if you come down. Okay. Yeah, um, well, we should That's probably end this cool. episode, honestly. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys. See you next time. See you next time.